Hello friends and welcome to Knowledge by Nature. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you are a returning watcher, welcome back. It's always nice to have you. In today's video, I want to show you how I organize all of our books. And I do this by doing a book rotation. We have books that are in storage that get rotated out seasonally, as well as books here inside the classroom up at the top, and then I keep some extras that we just got from a Scholastic book haul. If you haven't seen that video, I'll post that up in a card as well as in the description below. I knew all of these books were either going to be going into our personal library or into storage and so I just set those out of the way because I knew it was something I was going to be dealing with pretty soon. I also have this stack of books over here that someone gifted me. I'm so excited. It's a stack of free books which who wouldn't be happy about that but we're going to go through that, decide where they need to go for sure and then I also pulled out these books from our morning basket. It's the end of the month. I'm already starting to think about everything going into October and I figured I might as well get these out and put them away where they belong. So I hope that you stick around. Be sure and watch till the end of the video to see all the free books that we got. And before we get started, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Let's get started. Right up here in this, I kind of have all of our fly guy and little readers. Um, I think I am just gonna leave all of these in here for right now, even though I have like a Frankenstein. I think I'm just going to leave Fly Guy as a set, and so I am going to leave those in there. But I am going to go ahead and take out Ferdinand because I feel like this is like a spring slash summer book because of all the flowers. So I am going to go ahead and take that out. This I'm going to leave up here so I remember to add it up with my November basket. And then I just have a few things here. Let's see, millions and millions of cats. All right, down here, these are the books that I have left over that I just wasn't sure what I wanted to do with yet. And so I'm gonna go through all of these and decide which ones I wanna keep up in the library right now and which ones are better suited just to go down into the rotation for the season. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip through the rest of these, make that decision, and then separate these out into the stacks. So all of these books kind of have something to do with school or like the bugs in spring. And then I'm just gonna take out the gingerbread man for right now. So I'm going to put these into a rotation. These I am actually going to go put in her little library. So let's go to her little library and sort through some books. It's very dark in here, so I apologize. You're probably not gonna be able to see super good, but these are just all the books that she has on her shelf. And so these books are just little readers that we have. And this is the ones where I'm gonna go through and any that we've either had on the shelf for quite a while, I'm gonna take off or anything that has anything to do with like spring, summer, school, I'm gonna take all of those out too. So I'm gonna get started on this and then that way we can kind of clear these up, bring in some new ones. That way if she wants to like come in and get some books, it just keeps everything fresh this way. And I do like a toy rotation also. And so with this book rotation, it's just kind of the same. It keeps things new and fresh. Not that there's a lack of new books coming into this house. I know, right? Um, if you've seen my videos very much, you know that I'm terrible. I can't stop buying books. They're so wonderful though. But I'm going to get started going through all of these. I don't know if you guys can actually see back here, but this is a set that she got for Christmas one year. And it's an Eric Carl set and it comes with like this me reader. So you choose the book and then when they open it up, there's different shapes on them. And so you push the shape. So here's like, we'll find the 
fins, the world fleece. Of Eric Carl. Fins, fleece, feathers, and fur. And then they choose the shape here on here. Animal skins and coats keep them warm, dry, and safe. And then they just turn the page when you get that little ding they turn the page and this is just a really really neat set so if you're looking for something like this this is a really cool one and of course it's Eric Carl so I think that's even neater but we've got like bear friends fins fleece chatter chirp bark um, small wonders under the sea cat and dog jump and what do animals eat? So this is just like a really, really neat set. And it's got this reader with it. So they can like kind of read to themselves. I think it's so cool. And I'm actually gonna pull these out and kind of bring these to the front because I don't think she's really done these in a long time and that might be really cool for her to do. So I'm gonna set those out. I can also see where I've missed a few during my seasonal switches because the brave little penguin should definitely be coming to winter. So I am gonna go ahead and pull that out so that it will go in with the winter because I'm going more for fall right now. Here's the gingerbread man and we have the new gingerbread man. So I think I'll switch out the gingerbread mans. All right, so as you can see, I took quite a few out there. Um, I am gonna go ahead and just sit these here for right now, but I have a huge stack that I took out of here, and so now I'm gonna go and check out some more books here. All right, so this giant stack is all the books that I took out of her little library that are just kind of like school or spring. I'm actually gonna get rid of this book but just because she has not looked or read at it for a really long time. Um, so this is also a good time to, you know, you go through these seasonally, you kind of know what you looked at, what you didn't look at, at, and if there's been like quite a few rounds of it, I just go ahead and get rid of it because there's no sense in having a book around that she's not going to enjoy. Or if it's something that I know that she'll enjoy later, maybe it's like when she's older sort of thing, I would hold on to it. But this one, I think we've kind of went, had our time with, so... Um, I'm also going to get rid of this one because we actually don't even have the leapfrog anymore. And this is like just a little book that I don't know that she's really ever paid much attention to. Um, so I think I am going to go ahead and donate this book also because it's a cute book that you can read. You don't even have to have the leapfrog with it. But all these are going to go down into storage and then I will pull these back out in spring. Now this big yellow set that you see back here this is like the bin that I keep down in storage that has other books in it like I just pulled out and I'm gonna have to get another bin because um, all the ones that I just pulled out are not gonna go but like this is where I'm gonna pull from a lot of my um, October morning basket will be in here so I'm not gonna go through all of that I just kind of want to show you that I have a bunch of fall and Halloween and Christmas and winter books in here. And then I just have a few little readers that we kind of switch through from time to time. This book makes me cry every time I read it. I try to keep it put up because it just breaks my heart. Um, it makes me cry so much. If you've never read this book, I would say read it just because it's so precious, but then keep it out of the library because you're gonna cry every time you read it, but <laughs> it's a cute book. So anyway, I keep that in there because I do pull it out occasionally. She likes to read it. I think she likes to see how emotional I get with it. Here are the books that I pulled out of like our school room here. And so as you can see, it's a I Love School book. This gingerbread book, I'm actually gonna put back in her classroom or I'm actually gonna put back in her library because it is a different gingerbread man than we have had in the past. So that will be fun, I'm gonna add that. 
this is a fairly new book, but he kind of goes to school. And so I'm going to take that and I'm going to put that with our school books. Then I have my stranger books and I'm going to add those. And I kind of reintroduce these more along when spring kind of comes back and we're getting back out in and we're outside a whole lot more and we're just out doing a lot more things. So I will put those away. And then again, I can pull them out anytime I think we might need a reminder. I'm going to put this in her library. The Millions of Cats in her library, and Ferdinand I'm going to put into storage. So the things that'll go back into her library are right there. The Gingerbread Man, I'm going to put the Pout Pout Fish back in there. Five Little Monkeys Jumping on the Bed. I'll have to go back and look in her library because I think I have a different version of that. If so, I'm going to swap those out. Maisie Makes Gingerbread, and I think uh, The Kissing Hand, I'm going to keep that. This I'm actually going to put in with maybe our November basket as a fun reader. Um, just because it's kind of gingerbread. So I am gonna put that in here. These are the books that I pulled out of our September morning basket. And so I am actually just gonna put this on in the classroom. This will go into storage. This one I'm gonna go ahead and put into storage. Storage, and then this will go on the classroom shelf. Now, let's get into the new books that I just got and let's check those out. All right, so this stack of books were given to me free. They're all used books, but I didn't have to pay for them, but I still get to add to my collection, so I'm excited about that. So let's take a look at what all I got here. This is a chapter book and this is Stormy Misty's Foal. And this is about the Chincoteague, I believe is what it's called, the Wild Horses, which is like based on true true events. And there's these wild horses that's over on these islands. And for kindergarten, that was like a little study that we did. But this, she loves horses. So we read the first one, which I think was like called Misty, maybe. Um, I can't remember for sure, but this is the second book with that. And so that was pretty neat that we got this. Frog and Toad Together, and this is an I Can Read book. So this will be a good little book to have, and I will probably add this in maybe with our actual readers for the schoolroom. Morris Goes to School. This is a level one reader, and what I'm going to do is I am actually, this is going to go into storage because it is a school book. So I, even though it's a level one, I am going to go ahead and put that away. Phonics Reading Program, Book 2, Shaggy Nice Hot Breakfast. Oh, this is cute. So I'm going to add this to our readers. The Biggest Pumpkin Ever. Danny and the Dinosaur, Beginning One Reading. I think what I will do is I'm going to put this into storage for a little while. Berenstein Bears Love to Share. I have quite a few Berenstein Bears in this thing and I am so excited about it. So I am going to leave this. I'm going to put this into her library. Oh look, another Gingerbread Boy. So this is a Gingerbread Boy book. Um, really new. Um, totally different kind of story. I have never read this one before. I don't know what I'll do with this one. I might... I might add it in with a morning basket. I'm not sure. Or a daily basket. So I'm going to set this to the side and think about where that one's going. A Froggy Goes to the Doctor. Veggie Tales. Rack Shack and Benny. Polly's Pink Pajamas. The Berenstein Bears and the Big Road Race. The Berenstein Bears and the Golden Rule. Biscuit, I can read book. This is cute. Okay, I'm gonna put this in with our readers. Dave and the Giant Pickle. Get ready for Christmas, the Berenstein Bears. So I will put this in our Christmas stack. 
Berenstein Bears and the Green-Eyed Monster. Okay, so I'm kind of torn on where to put this one. I'm not going to put this in her library yet. But since it's Monster, even though I know it's not really Monster, I think I'm going to put this in October's. Puppy Dog Pals Design a Dog. 10 in the bed, and we've actually read this quite a few times this week because we were doing subtraction, and so I was reading this as like a story to go along with subtraction of we were subtracting one every time one fell out of the bed. So I am going to definitely keep this out for a little bit longer. And then we have Bark George. So these are, a lot of these are going to go into her library. So these are all of our new free books. I got, I think they're a really good set of books. All of these I'm going to put into her little library. So these will go back into her closet. These were, I'm going to put this one. Um, I'm just going to put these in the schoolroom. All three of these are going to go in the schoolroom, kind of in the reading section. And then I just have a section for chapter books that I'm going to put in here. So I went through and I've sorted everything out. So all of these are going to go into the storage. And so all of these will come out this spring. And that will be really exciting seeing like these new books again. And then we'll have a few new readers that we're adding. And then here is all of my fall and Halloween and so you're going to be seeing what's inside this pretty soon because a lot of these are going to show up in our daily baskets. And so for October, November, and December, a lot of these are going to come out into the basket and then they go into her library for a little while. And so then come this spring, most of those will go out of the library and these will kind of go back in. And then every time I do this, every season, I just kind of go ahead and I'm able to get rid of any books that we don't need, kind of clear out any. Even though I only got rid of two right now, that's, you know, that's just right now. So probably when I go through it again after the winter, I'll get some more that we'll be taking out. So it just kind of helps keep it clear. It also keeps the interest in the books a little bit new too. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments. I hope I was kind of clear on how we do this rotation, but I love books and I enjoy going through them and showing you what we have. So if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.